This is an overview of the Dashboard Manager. A dashboard is a web page used to visualize your recent monitoring results. On the Dashboard Manager screen, you can view two types of existing dashboards, panels and report cards. A panel is an individual dashboard that displays one or more widgets to visualize recent data and can be shared with others by sending them the unique URL for the dashboard. Clicking on the panel section will expand to display all existing panels, the number of widgets in each panel, the status of each panel, and the actions you can perform on each panel. Clicking on the report cards section will expand to display all report cards available. Report cards include the report card name, the type of report card, the number of devices on the report card, and the status of the report card, as well as the actions that you can perform on the report card. From the Dashboard Manager, you can edit a dashboard, preview a dashboard in a new browser window, copy the URL to the dashboard and paste it into a new browser window, reset the GUID, clone the dashboard, enable or disable the dashboard, or delete the dashboard. If this is your first time on the Dashboard Manager, the Dashboard Panels and Report Card dropdowns will be empty. Click the Create New button to create a new Dashboard Panel. When you click Create a New Dashboard Panel, a wizard pops up allowing you to choose a new panel or to open a saved panel. When you click Create a New Panel, you're prompted to enter a new panel name and description. You can also choose the panel width, either fluid or fixed. A fluid width will adjust based upon the size of the user's screen and browser. For this demo, we are going to create a fluid panel. Once you click Create the Panel, you're brought to a blank dashboard panel screen. From here, you click the Add Widget button to add a new widget. There are several widget types, including Response Time Chart, Event Feed, and Pixel Stack. First, we will create a Response Time Chart. Click the Configure button to continue. A response time chart displays a line graph plotting the data points for each selected device over a specific period of time. You can zoom in to view more granular details and scroll to see specific points along the graph. Now we will select some tasks to include. In the task selector, you can click on each type of task to expand the list. If your list is long, you may use the Find bar to search for a specific task. Remember to clear the Find bar in order to see all of the tasks available. If you would like to show all of the tasks that you have selected, check the box next to Show Selected Devices. We will also want to give the widget a descriptive name. Next, we want to click on the Period tab to select the period of time that will be displayed in the graph. Finally, we can edit the layout by selecting different colors for each task. Then we click the Add button and you'll see the widget will display on your panel. Once you have created one or more widget on your dashboard, you now have the option of arranging them, including making them bigger or smaller by dragging in the corner of the widget, Let's go ahead and add a second widget to this dashboard. This widget will be an event feed. The event feed monitors events from one or more devices, including configuration changes, alerts, state changes, and status reports. The event feed displays the most recent events in descending order for the specified period of time. When adding or editing a widget, the system remembers by default the last selections you've made. So be sure to uncheck the Show Selected Devices Only so that you see a list of all devices or tasks. Make sure to change the specified period as well. Now that we have created two widgets, you can see that you can drag and drop widgets around on the screen so that they fit the way you would like to see them. Move and resize widgets to fit on different screen sizes from mobile devices to large panels in a war room. Let's create another type of widget, the pixel stat widget. The pixel stat widget displays the most recent status of devices on a single widget. The color coding allows you to quickly determine overall health of your system at a glance. Green means online, red means down, and yellow means postponed. 
click on a specific device status to drill down into details of the most recent status. You can also see on the response time graph in the lower right hand corner the legend. Clicking on the name of a task in the legend will highlight or unhighlight that specific task. At this point you want to make sure that you click the save button to make the changes live. Once you've saved the dashboard, clicking the preview button will pop up an additional browser showing you what the dashboard looks like outside of the editor. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner that you can adjust the grid size and the padding size. The padding adjusts the space in between each widget on the dashboard. Going back to the editor, if you look in the upper right hand corner, there's a logo. If you wish, you can click on this logo and upload your own image. Other options on the dashboard panel editor include creating a new dashboard, opening an existing dashboard, and clicking on the properties, which will pop up a property menu where you can change the panel name and description, adjust the panel width, and copy or generate a new URL for the panel. Notice that this URL has a unique UID, which you can copy and paste, or press the copy URL button to copy it to your clipboard and paste it into a browser anywhere, even if you're not logged into the system, in order to access this specific dashboard panel. From the dashboard panel editor, you can click on the actions menu for any widget to go in and edit that widget. In the event feed, you can click on a specific event to view more details about the most recent events. On the device response time, you can hover over a specific point to view the data for that point. When you're finished editing your dashboard panel, be sure to save your changes and then click the exit button in the upper right hand corner of your screen. This concludes our tour of the dashboard manager. To recap what we have seen in this video, the dashboard panels provide an easy way to visualize the current status of your monitoring data, including response time, uptime, and recent events. You can even white label the panels with your own logo and share panels with anyone by simply copying and pasting the unique URL into an email. The web page is available to anyone you share it with without logging into the system. If you later wish to revoke access to a particular dashboard panel, you can either disable the panel or you can reset the good of the URL, thereby invalidating the previous address that you shared with others. For additional help, click on Support and visit our Knowledge Base.